Okay, are we good to go? Yeah, oh, okay. definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I, Bhavarna Borwa, along with uh, Sharad Kamal Bez Borwa and uh, Ananya Mahanda, welcome you to the first session of day two of this webinar on the role of new generation in preservation of art and culture. So, for tonight, we have amongst us Nilutpal Lohkar, more popularly known as Minami, who has won millions of heart till date uh, through his self conceptualized, spectacular Assamese rap songs. Recently, in May 2020, Minimi got the opportunity as an invited guest to contribute for UNICEF initiative, which aims at children mental health. He has also worked in uh, Manjul Borwa Scanning and also in the Asmus film Goru, which is uh, yet to release, I guess. And uh, our next guest for tonight is uh, Bhavishnu Goswami, a hip hop artist from Golagat Assam, uh, popularly known as uh, B-Boy Array. So from the name itself, uh, we can make out that he's from the field of b-boying. And he's a team leader uh, of his crew known as uh, Soul Crew. That's, a, that's based in Golakhat. And till date, he has happened to achieve 39 titles all over Nordist, including both single and uh, crew categories. So welcoming uh, both of you, uh, Nirupal Dayan uh, Bhavishunda, uh, to this discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thanks you. for having us. To start. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Nilutpal, I'll start. Uh, before we start, can you tell us a little about your personal journey and your evolution from how you evolved from a mini me, like from Nilutpal to mini me? Yeah, definitely, I would like to share my, my journey with you guys or with the audience. Um, uh, it started in 2012, roughly, if I say so. Uh, when I first listened to Eminem, obviously, and uh, Linkin Park, my all-time favorite band. So they used to uh, fuse rap with rock, uh, basically. Uh, Linkin Park did that. And it attracted me uh, towards that genre. Then, uh, then uh, when I came to Guwahati, precisely in 2014, I, I, I got admitted into Biborwa College. And then I got, the, uh, got, I got the platform to showcase my talent in front of a bigger audience. Uh, then in Nalbari, uh, where I used to study uh, until 2014. And then well, afterwards, I got those opportunities. I took those opportunities, converted them into, you know, bigger opportunities. And then uh, slowly, slowly, I started growing. And uh, in 2020, I have uh, like 20 to 25 songs uh, to call my songs, obviously. And also some projects uh, that are worth sharing with you guys or with the audience. And also to take, uh, you know, uh, part in some of the biggest events in Northeast. So I'm blessed with all those opportunities. And uh, I look forward to go uh, in, uh, and achieve bigger, you know, feats in my career. And I will always try to uh, take uh, Assam a uh, step higher than it is right now in case of hip hop, if we say. Okay. Thank you so much, Nirupal. Uh, okay. Uh, the, thank you, Nirupal. So, Bhavishuda, I would like to ask that, uh, yep. would you like to give a brief description about the culture of breakdancing? Uh, sure, sure. I would love to. Uh, B-boying or breaking, like, it, it, it started back in the early 1970s when uh, the USA was famous for it. They were the first to... Uh, made it through to the, uh, to, uh, to the entire world. And uh, the rappers like uh, Mosef, KRS-One, then DMC, all of them, they refer to this dance as breaking or b-boying. But when we talk about mainstream industries and all, they refer to it as breakdancing. So basically it started in 1970s and so on and on and on. It spread out throughout the entire world and everyone has contributed from their own style and aesthetics and has evolved it since today. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Obisuda. Okay, Minimi, uh, as we mentioned in the intro, yeah. uh, recently you were invited as a guest to contribute for UNICEF, a UNICEF in initiative that uh, aims in children mental well-being, right? Uh, so, would you uh, like yeah. to share its yeah, experience definitely. and experience, the experience on it, of it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I would like to share it. Uh, actually, I am in Nalwadi right now and I'm all locked down because of the coronavirus uh, pandemic. Everyone knows that. And uh, 
like uh, i was locked down i was like uh, deprived of my own studio i i have my studio in guwahati and i work there and uh, when i get stuck in nalwari i don't get to work with so much in the in the in the field of music but then uh, this opportunity came to me as a shock and they con- contacted me through uh, an email and they and they told me that uh, unicef is uh, bringing this uh, theme of mental health in 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 terms of children and uh, the students from uh, say you ukg to uh, class 10 or class 12 they go through a different phase of time uh, uh, like we as adults we all know we are a bit stronger than those children right so these children have their own issues they they go through bullying they go through cyber bullying they go through body shaming they uh, you know experience a lot of trouble in their life we obviously we are also children at the point of time and we also go through or went through that phase of time yeah so we all can relate and the mental health is a very sensitive issue and it yeah. needs that uh, needs that light and it needs that exposure to which a young uh, mind or a young soul can relate and he, he or she can come out of it and uh, come out of depression or anxiety or whatever it is so yeah, yeah. they contacted me through email and then i responded uh, quickly and then they uh, we had uh, conversations uh, like few more conversations after that i sent them a vocal uh, you know vocal guide for the song and then they like uh, totally appreciated my work and they have decided to take it in their uh, program obviously and uh, i'll let you know uh, if they uh, declare to share it with the normal public but i don't think so actually uh, people are asking me after when i uh, like uh, express the news people came to me asking for the song but i'm really sorry it's not in my hands i cannot share it because it's not my property anymore uh, yeah. i have given my uh, song to them only and they will share it as they like you know and i, I still definitely uh, try to share it with the normal public definitely it talks about the depression and anxiety and everything we go through uh, it's uh, target audiences of the obviously the children yeah the young uh, minds of our country yeah okay yeah. Uh, thank you for sharing the experience okay sharad uh, you'd like to ask uh, something uh, yeah yes uh, i wanted to know from dobishno about the raw culture in the uh, b-boying scenario of assam compared to the other states around the country and also abroad like comparatively uh, what's the progress uh, could you I mean, sorry could you re- could you repeat the question once again yeah. i actually missed yeah. the first part yeah so like uh, i wanted to know about the raw culture like comparatively the culture of uh, b boying is considered a little raw like un- like uh, in terms of development uh, compared to other states around in the country and also uh, definitely in comparison to other places across the globe so what's your take on it basically like uh, what i think is india is still a developing country when it comes to be boying so okay. it hasn't actually um, you know it hasn't got the exposure it it, it needs so much but right now i believe like uh, there are many experienced we boys from germany from france from paris from ukraine from russia korea japan like they are being invited by many uh, crews from india they host camps they give workshops and like uh, compared to yeah compared to the other states the scene is still yet to uh, develop to that level it hasn't been up to that much but yeah it it, it has a lot to go and regarding assam the like 2010 i believe 2010 was the moment when uh, b boying actually came into the northeast so basically uh, b boy kim from shillong he was responsible actually he was the first person who initiated this process in northeast and from there on from 2010 to 2020 like within this 10 years of duration it has grown uh, a lot stronger compared to the other states Okay, since we are talking about Assam, Minimi, are you are listening? Like, can can you yes, hear us? Yes, um, definitely. Yeah, okay, yeah, great. definitely. Great. Uh, what do you think, like, uh, 
about yeah. rap in Assam, Assam. I mean, what's uh, what do you think about the rap scenario in Assam? And also, uh, how do you think rap on the whole can contribute to culture? I mean, and also rap as an art. I'll just add the question. Uh, what do you think about the future yeah, yeah. of uh, rap songs in Assam? I mean, I mean. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. We can hear you. We can hear you. We can hear you. Uh, I'm getting disconnected quite often. I don't know why. Hello. Okay. You can. You can continue, Minimi. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So the question was the future of hip hop. So I would like to say that when we started, uh, yeah, yeah, and its future. Yeah. yeah. I, I understand the question. So when we started, uh, like there were only three or four rappers in Guwahati or in, uh, in the you know hip hop fraternity that we had. That was in 2015 or 16. I'm talking about that uh, that that phase. So uh, after that, uh, well, you know, gradually uh, people started liking hip hop in Assam. They, yeah. uh, uh, you know, they were all trying to write in their mother tongue. Uh, this SM is, uh, we all know that uh, rapping in English uh, and rapping in SM is are two different things if we compare them. Because rapping in English, if we uh, take, uh, you know, example, we can have exam example, uh, we can take Eminem or we can take anyone. Like, the, the, there are many rappers we can take uh, uh, inspiration from. But then in terms of SMEs, it was quite new and we didn't have any, you know, experience about this thing and we didn't have anyone to look up to as an idol. And uh, still we, uh, you know, researched and uh, we studied our language and uh, in case of me, I uh, regularly used to uh, read some novels, regularly used to, uh, you know, learn some new words and then try to find the different words and then try to create a new rap. You know, so it all started like that, and uh, if, if if I say twenty, we have got disconnected. No, okay, he's, only he's there. He's there. He's okay, 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 okay. Uh, yes, where are you, uh, Minimi? Minimi, can you hear us? Okay, so uh, I think uh, we got the answer, and uh, I think we can proceed. Uh, if uh, yeah, uh, if once it, it comes, we can. Uh, Sharad, uh, you can yeah. Sharad, you can continue with that part. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So pro proceed with the next question. So yeah, proceed. With I would like to proceed. Okay, Bhavish, no. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. yeah as a leader of your crew, uh, known as Soul Crew, that's based in Golaghat. So can you tell us briefly about this journey and how has it contributed in promoting the hip hop culture in and around the state? Yeah, sure. Uh, I would try to keep it uh, short. <laughs> yeah. So like uh, basically uh, the beginning was actually all a leap of faith for me. Yeah. Uh, the reason being uh, because I wasn't a dancer. Uh, so first of all, I started with cricket. I played like for around seven to eight years. So right after that, around when I was in high school, so a childhood friend of mine, so he introduced me to this thing. So uh, upon introducing, I was like, what are you talking about? I mean, come on, like, I'm, I, I'm not a dancer. I'm basically a cricketer. I, I love to play cricket, so I'm going, I'm going to do that. But then on, and as I went on into deep uh, regarding the culture and the people and all the entire perspective of, of it, then like, the most beautiful thing I found is that it has a different individuality. And most importantly, like everyone contributes from their side. So it doesn't, it, it's not necessary that there is only one way of doing things. So basically you have, we have our own ways of doing our things and so and so. So uh, at, well, like when I was in high school, we basically started the crew from 2012. Uh, beginning, uh, we were known as Exosis Crew, which has a, uh, basically a technique meaning which we came to know a little lot later, actually. Yeah. So, hello, hello. We started. Can you guys with, hear me? Hello. Hello. Yeah. hello. 
Yeah, we can hear you. I'm mean, losing the connection. I saw your name. Hello. You can hear me, right? Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nilutpal da, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely, I was in the middle. Okay, okay. Like my network is, yeah, my network is good in here. Okay. But cloud continue. Internally, we had those like okay, breaks okay. and yeah, yeah. Let's like continue. three, four rappers. Yeah, like there were three, four rappers who got the audience they deserved. and then and like started booming up in 2020 uh, we are doing quite good and uh, not only me there are other rappers also djs also music producers b-boy b-boying crews and uh, also uh, like graffiti painting everything has like come up and the whole hip hop as a as a culture it's blooming in assam and it's a good you know it's a very good okay so yeah we Okay, so Vishnu was into can his soul crew journey. Yeah, yeah. Please continue. Mm-hmm. We have to Hello? go. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it was. Uh, so yeah, I was into it. Okay, so, sure, sure. Like it all started. Yeah. And um, we did shows. We first uh, like we did a lot many shows. Um, so from 2012 to 2014, like uh, mostly we did shows. We did nothing else. We didn't battle. We didn't do cyphers. We literally didn't. We didn't have any like sort of you know that sort of hunger within us. We were yeah. just there. We wanted to dance and no other things. So 2012, 2013, 14, it went on. Then uh, 2014 was when I took over the leadership from my friend from Akash Neok, the person who uh, introduced me to this world. So from 14, uh, basically Soul Crew, uh, the, we were exhausted. So from 14, like we came to know as Soul Crew. so and the reason behind the soul uh, the name soul is because it is actually an abbreviation it stands for shadows of urban legend so because we when we started dancing we didn't have any like gurus or any sort of you know mentors so okay. basically what we did was we we learned through the internet we used the youtube there were like 3 gb videos back then there wasn't smartphones like we have today so yeah, yeah. it was basically a self learning process and from 2014 up till 2020 uh like we have almost honestly competed like across the northeast thing and even like we have represented assam in uh, numerous numbers of times and uh like from 2016 onwards we uh, started doing a jam which is called the soul jam uh, basically it is an anniversary jam of our crew we we like throw down the jam every every time during our anniversaries so from there we start promoting like the all the elements of hip hop basically b boying you can take it rapping then we got beatboxing we got uh graffiti but we basically we didn't promote graffiti yet because we don't have a uh, graffiti artist to be honest and even if we have but we were not connected at that time when we started the promotion so like yeah so 2016 was when we started doing all the jammings and sort of this stuff so 2016 17 18 19 20 so we have uh hope we are doing i uh, hope we are doing and going to do we're going to keep doing what we do so promote good hip hop that's our main goal yeah thank you thank you vishnu uh, for letting us know about the journey of soul crew it was a uh, really very uh, interesting to know about the journey okay uh, sharad would you like to continue yes uh, yes definitely minimi can you hear us Yeah, but the voice is cracking. The voice is cracking, and uh, my network is also not that good. And okay. because of that, I'm. But actually, uh, Nirupolda, we can hear you. So if you can just understand the question, then uh, yeah. You can, uh, yeah, you can answer okay. it. Uh, we can hear you. Okay, okay. 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 So uh, what we have seen is uh, every piece of yours. Uh, puts forward a very strong message whether it be the piece on lord shiva or the rap song called bangladeshi what you yeah. wrote during the caa pro- protest uh, which yeah. was like um, hello. widely hello hello yes, can... yeah, yeah, yeah please repeat the question i got disconnected in the middle okay, okay. actually i was saying that tumar prati to peace prati to youtube video has a strong message there definitely yes bimane be it lord shiva or jitu lord shiva or jitu tumi peace 
bisa uh, or maybe the hmm. bangladeshi like song the bangla the rap song called bangladeshi which you wrote during the caa oh, protest, protest time yeah protest. for this caa movement yeah definitely the public i mean so tumar eneko mane content create koibole where do you get the inspiration and uh, please describe the struggle behind it and how to how do you gather the strength to overcome it yeah so actually what happens to me as an artist it's very important to have a message in your songs or any art work that you do be it a painting be it a song be it a poem it's really important to connect the message and also send a strong message also also pass the consciousness so it has always been my motive to pass the consciousness to my songs be it uh, you know be it uh, it can be about lord shiva also in case i have wrote, i i said about lord shiva and then i got to know that yes we can hear you oh hello we did our heart hello can you hear yeah. me yeah yeah we can hear you please continue please continue yeah uh, so for me it's quite important to uh, you know let people know what i know or let people see through my perspective about any matter so as an artist i uh, also represent my pers- perspective to audience also i have the bigger responsibility to portray audience perspective to the masses so, yeah Yeah. Great. Perfect. Um, yeah. yeah. Got it. You know, Bangladeshi. Yes. In times of Bangladeshi, Assam, Assam. Yeah. In times of in times of Bangladeshi, just like 2018, it was uh, 2018, and in Assam, the first wave of CAA movement. Uh, Assam mm-hmm. was agitated, fully agitated, and people were getting to know about the. about the you know of of uh, the caa so yeah. all i had to do was just carry a message to the government or to the higher authorities and let them know that people of assam do not accept this bill and uh, the youth of assam uh, more particularly doesn't like this bill and all i, I had to do was this rap song and uh, i successfully the... Okay. Uh, I guess he got disconnected again. Got disconnected again. But yes, uh, we got his message. Got, uh, yeah, sorry, we got yeah. his message. Okay, okay, okay. Nilutpal da, Nilutpal da. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Hi. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear you. Yeah. You, you, Are you guys hearing me properly? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so it all happened like that. It has always been my motive to pass consciousness. That's it. Like, if I take a, uh, if you know, when I do the moves. Uh, I I I am given a topic, and what uh, when I make my own songs, I choose the topic. So there is a difference. When I choose the topic, I have my full liberty to talk about it. Right? But when I am offered a song, uh, say if I am offered a song in a movie, they their own own story. So I have my own challenges because I have to write according to the story. I have to give them the perspective, perspective they are wanting, right? So. you know yeah, it it's a, it's a different thing but at the same time they also should i am always have to give me liberty regarding the lyrics or regarding the person i got I'm, what he is trying to say sharad sure could you hear yeah. i'm sure yeah. he'll be back yes he there he is these are like some of my ethics that w- will never change i guess yeah yeah so, okay we got good. the answer although there was a network glitch But still, we got your point, uh, Nilupal. Yeah, right? I'm having a yeah, lot yeah, of yeah. privileges. Yeah, yeah, we got the point, but uh, we could hear you. Yeah, he 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 talked about the liberty of creating a content. Yeah. One on one's own perspective. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And we got it, Nilupal. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you uh, for sharing this with us. Yeah. Thank you for having. Yeah. Thank Great. you. Yeah. Okay, thank continue. You. Yes. Uh, Should any last so, question? Yes. Yes. Twenty-five uh, minutes. Uh, we have time in hand. We have time. Yeah. So, sure. Yeah. 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 So, Bhavishnu, I would like to know uh, how does some kind of a stress in your personal life affect the creativity in your the genre that you are working on, like the art form that you are involved in, and how do you gather the strength and courage to overcome such hindrances in 
your creation in creating quality arc art even even or i didn't push it in my idea it's a good question uh, this, uh, this is actually a very long question to be answered honestly <laughs> uh, yeah. but uh, basically uh, like the thing is uh, we are, it's it's not something like all artists are prone to it's like we all are prone to it like you know we have issues and all every one of us like yeah so basically like uh, all it comes down to is how we chose to react to those issues that we are experiencing in life yes so and regarding the uh, effect it has well uh, when do, when we when you experience when you experience a particular uh, like pain or anything it basically changes the biology of your entire state of mind and <laughs> for me like i believe the only thing that is most vital in this entire process is how you come out of it as a person so yeah. basically it's all about being the better person that you are from the day before so that's what that's what i believe in and that's what i keep doing each and every single day because uh, you know critics struggles and all these things they will always be there in your life because yeah. like if 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 they are absent then i don't think you are doing something worthwhile to be honest so yeah because you make a choice you have the consequences and basically for me that's what i believe in and that is what i try to like reinforce it in my art form that i do and that's how i uh like portray my pieces that i produce okay great very well said and it's a very good answer that's, that thought is very important for everyone i guess uh, because nowadays we are seeing that mental health really is playing the game because uh, stress is i, I guess yeah yes, yes, uh, yes stress is really affecting our performances in all field yeah so thank you for the answer so uh, nilutpal da uh, can you hear us Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, would you like to share anything that we missed out? Any any point that we missed out? Like you would like to throw some light on that? Hello. Yeah, hello. hello. Can you hear yeah, us? Yeah, we can. Hello. Yeah, we can hear, yeah, hear you. Yeah. yeah, I can hear you guys now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Would you like to throw some light in anything that we missed out in this session? Like uh, you would like to uh, say about it? oh yeah like you you guys have done a great session like about hip hop like people take hip hop as a genre that you no know, like people don't want to take it seriously like the audience hasn't quite you know connected with hip hop uh, yet like yeah. there are a lot of he will back he'll be back he'll be back he'll be back yeah hello yeah yeah, yeah we can hear you please hello. continue yeah please yes continue. yeah yeah so like, can hear you yeah so they are like yeah though the people of we have 10 minutes left uh, say age group 40 yeah yeah so the people of age group say 40 and uh, they have a slight connected to hip hop but they take it as a very you know uh, you know uh, donor that plays nonsense music you know in one word so we have bigger tasks ahead and those tasks definitely include uh, you know making better songs making better artwork and uh, leading uh, the audience all stuck with our icon and definitely then we will uh, be able to get those people who once neglected or still neglect us to love us and turn them into our audience and i guess this will be the bigger task and we uh, have enough yeah in glitch mm. yeah in in assam or in entire not only in india yeah. in india you can say quite popular a uh, hip hop is popular rapper are earning their bread and rapper are doing very good job they are having their you know songs made in bollywood films they are get signed to record labels and some day i would want to see those record labels getting accepted to assam or not and signing uh, you know assamese regional rappers or any anyone doing hip hop so i guess uh, give us like 5 years of time and we will definitely try to uh, change the scene so yeah thank you yeah. for you know uh, inviting me to this session and letting me you know express my feelings for this hop and also uh, thank you for uh, showing concern towards hip hop because it is still a baby in assam and um, i want to see it as a very well grown adult uh, in 5 years
Okay, thank you, thank you, uh, Nilupal da. Thank you. And uh, Bhavishnu, you. would you like to say something? We have eight minutes, like eight minutes yeah. left. So, anything that we really missed out, or you would like to throw some light on it? Oh, first of all, I would like to appreciate each and everyone's effort. I mean, you are Bhavana, especially, and Aminaba, and Sharad. Although mm -hmm. I don't think I have met Sharad in person. I, I don't think we have met in person, but I really respect the respect the amount of work you have done here, brother. And uh, it's what I believe is uh, regarding hip hop. The only thing I'm going to say is uh, be more open to people. That's what I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. Like as an artist, the most important thing that we need to know is there will always be a section of people who will support you. There will always yeah. be a section of people who's gonna point fingers at you. Yeah. So basically, yeah. um, so we should focus on like you know what uh, what we are producing first. So instead of like focusing on the things that we don't want, like I believe we should focus on the things that we want to. And like uh, of course, hip hop like it has like two variations within Assam to be honest. Like there is like the mainstream hip hop, and there there are people who are the underground artists. Yeah. So. You know, I believe I. I just hope that more and uh, no, more people. No, the job is like the job is to bring the job is to bring another. Uh, I I have a little question here. Wait, like, wait, wait. Nilupal yeah. was saying saying Nibupal something. Nilupal was saying something. Nibupal yeah, I was Nibupal. saying that the job now is to uh, you know uh, promote the underground hub into mainstream. That is the thing that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. underground the mainstream. The two streams. I believe. Yeah, definitely. So I think uh, with this, we can end this session. Uh, we have around six minutes remaining. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I was saying uh, the older generations uh, in and around us actually tend to, can, cannot uh, not be able to link hip hop uh, as an art to Indian culture. Like, how do you think uh, hip hop would be a part of Indian culture? culture in the coming days uh, my question is to both the artists it's it's an open question i mean yeah uh, you uh, may slowly changing that's the biggest you know biggest achievement of ebook that slowly the dogma is changing slowly the social you know you know uh, they thought that ebook is only about whiskey ebook is only about partying ebook is only about health slowly that thing is changing they are taking ebook seriously and uh, they are wanting us to do good raps in their movies. So definitely someday, but they will come when he will be the biggest donor in us. And I want to see the picture. Definitely. Uh, uh, Bhavishnu, what would you like to yeah. say about hip hop and culture? Um, uh, regarding like, uh, like the coexistence, right? Between the Indian oh, culture and the hip hop, the coexistence. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Bob. Uh, First of all, uh, first of all, I would like to say is that stop spreading fake hip hop. I mean, there are so many like YouTube channels as well. There are many people and there are many filmmakers, to be honest. They promote like this is hip hop, this is hip hop, this is hip hop. So first of all, hip hop started with b-boying, to be honest. So yeah. that is the first element yeah. under under hip hop. So you should be you should be you know focus more on what you're promoting. And like regarding the coexistence, like there are this is nature, you know, like everything is natural. There will always be some way that we can coexist. And regarding the cultural coexistence of hip hop and Indian, what I believe is if we promote the real thing, the real underground artists in order to, for the local public, for the local masses to see what real hip hop is, I believe that we can surely definitely achieve this model. Because uh, for, the, for around 60% of the population of basically India to be honest, they like saying hip hop is all about gangs, you know, like hip hop is all about rapping and all these drugs, weeds and all so and so forth. <laughs> but no, hip hop, hip hop has evolved, hip hop has evolved. That's yeah. not hip hop yet, man. Hip hop has evolved just like everyone, the, the entire planet has evolved like since yeah. its inception. So everything is evolving. So we will definitely find a way to coexist, but it yeah. all comes down to the, uh, both the parties, like the ones who represent the hip hop and the ones uh, the local ones. So we gotta like have to have a perspective to come to a mutual confusion in order to promote good hip hop. Okay, thank you. Perfect. 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 Uh, since we are short on time, around three minutes are remaining. So I think uh, we can end this session. Yeah.
can so, can we hear something from minimi if you can hear us like yeah, minimi hello hello yeah minimi the ek minute ot kiba ja something just because we are lagging time definitely definitely yeah i would love to love to yeah yeah please okay sabika ji thoda ta ki yo lage kune ma ishe to lag ko diso jo di to unnati jo khola hobola थैंक यू Thank okay. you Bhavishnu and uh, and thank since you. I have thank I you. have just 2 minutes left so definitely I would like to end it with a line uh, actually I'm a classical dancer and I'm from a very classical background but uh, like you know it was uh, hello in my very early age yeah it was in my ah. early age when i decided that uh, someday if i get an opportunity to create an environment where not only classical like classical western as well as folk we all would come up together and just sit for a proper discussion i never thought of you know yeah. organizing like a webinar kind of session but i don't know how it got aligned and i never expected for this like webinar to happen and today personally i'm very happy to attend this session because i had the opportunity to learn a lot to uh, share so much such a strong vibe amongst these two talented artists so on my behalf thank you both of you you yeah, thank you both guys rock that's it thank you okay thank, thank you, you. Thank so you. we are ending this session and uh, thank you everyone for joining thank you, thank you. in the next session we'll have vikidas and sopnilanjan bora Uh, which will be starting in around seven uh, fifty, uh, I guess. We can start around in seven fifty. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you, Monisha. Man, all the best for you. Again. Uh, we hope to see you in the next session too. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so Nilda, next session lock pump. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Yeah. sure, sure, sure. Okay. Bhavishda, thank you. Yes, thank you. Bye. I'm ending the meeting. <laughs>